This is a pipe cutter. It is for cutting a lot of things. I want you to be very careful when using this tool because I can cut this with one hand and it will take a finger right off. And that's why they got safety things. Let's place this to the side. I have here laid out on the table pre-cut pieces already measured. This is for my table. So your measurements for your table are important. You have a tape measure. I wouldn't suggest a magic marker, but a pencil, a crayon. If you want to have a perfect item here, there are videos on how to take alcohol, sandpaper and get that off well right now that is not my concentration my concentration is building the base and a second layer so i got two sets i'm going to place these to the side i'm going to place these four to the side and i'm going to place these two to the side I want to take a three-way 90. Is there a right and wrong way on a three-way 90? I don't think so. There are no markings to which is the right and wrong way. I'm going to face it up, place one in, place the other in. I'm going to take another three-way 90. And I'm going to place two in this way. And I am going to get one more and finish off that corner right here. As I do my best to line everything up, I am not going to glue this. It's just going to be pieced on. That is good. I did not take measurements for my second pipe, the height I want. I'm going to take this, put it to the side. I'm going to lay my next layer out. I'm going to repeat the same thing, and I am going to use four-way 90s. I'm going to start to put them together. I'm going to transfer it to the floor. I'm going to tap on each of the corners. Now I'm going to tap on each of the corners. So now I got my two layers. Now I need to determine my height. For me, I raised everything up about a foot, pre-cut the pieces in advance. I'm gonna lay them in, I could tap them down with the hammer. And if I wanted to, my next step could be is, if I want additional support, I may do it later. Put another four, four-way 90s, two here and two here. So this way I can make a door and open this up in the fall. For right now, I'm gonna be pretty satisfied with just building the frame. I just lay them in there, safely get to the back. And that's a beautiful height of S because I'm, I'm going to be building a top to it. So I tap down gently with my hands. And now I am going to need to have, again, pre-cut pieces. And I am going to lay them in here. As I do that, I am going to take 45s. And now I'm going to have to take additional measurements and put some three-way or four-way 90s to make my canopy, my top.
this is where measurement comes into account. Now I can tee them off this way if they made 30 degree, 45 degree, you know what I mean, angles, then I could have everything slanted, but they don't. So there I am getting along with what I have. Nice. And then I could just simply have hooks back there, hook them on and pull it forward and take it off so it doesn't blow. This is why we bang things down to get them in. I'm not going to use the uh, end, I'm going to use the side of the hammer. For the ones that are going to be yelling at me, take a piece of wood. That is your best way of doing it. With some pre-cut pieces of PVC. I'm not perfect in making my angles X plus Y equals Z. So I had some leftover pieces. And what I am going to do is I am just basically going to try to piece part it. I'm going to have to move this to the side some to get my fittings and take my measurements of the height I want and not worry about the uh, pipe that's going across. It may be a little too heavy. So I'm going to remove it, place it to the side. This is where it counts, right here. I don't want to be too much that way. I want to be as much centered as possible. So if I come out with a measurement right about here and here equally, then I'm good to go. Well, I'm going to leave it right where that dirt is at. I slowly take my cuts. And I do the same for the other side. Place my tool to the side and see how my cuts help me out if they fit just right. I'm going to have to do the same to the other side. So I'm going to have to take it off and take my measurements. I made my pre-cuts off camera. And now I'm going to put my T on. And the hardest part is now trying to adjust them in there. Hopefully I did a good job. This is HDX sheeting. 309, 310. It is supposed to be nice and clear. It's three millimeters thick. And yeah, it may do the trick. I'm going to put that to the side because I got a plastic bag and it almost fits. It's a little dirty, but it just misses my fit. But I still can use this and make use of it by cutting it open and wrapping it around or putting it to my side. Leftover PVC. I won't be able to cut it this way. But I'm most sure I can hacksaw it and take a piece like so and make a clip out of it. With the leftover pipe, and you'll see on Amazon, it may be cheaper to buy them because that's the cut you got to do out of these. And you make a whole number of them. You basically get it by the pipe, give a little press, and they snap on nice and tight. I only made one. I am going to see if I can snap it on. And they are 
holding in place. If you make them too narrow, oh man, they're going to be just a pain in the neck to do. And my suggestion is not to use one of these cutters to correct. If you do, don't put your fingers there. They are so difficult to snap on, but they go on and they will stay on. Well, this project came to a halt. I have a four-way. I need two five-ways and two 45s, and I have to place an order, and I got the pipe to make the T on top. Once I get all that completed, I've now got my plastic on top, and it's going to be a nasty day tomorrow, a lot of rain. So I want to make sure that my front is all lifted up and just the back will stay closed because the back is not where the sun shines in. It shines in the front over here. So the sides could stay closed, but this whole front could stay open and I could have an excellent project indeed, a greenhouse. So I'm going to continue on. I want to say thank you very much for uh, checking out the build. Uh, just a couple of staples, and I'm good to go. I'm going to finish this up off of the camera, and maybe I'll show you the outcome, what I have left. I need to order my parts. Have a great day, everybody. I just temporarily got my plastic on. I don't love this piece here. It got a couple of holes in it, but you get the idea that it could be temporary like this. And I could just uh, roll it up and then flip it over. So right now, this is good enough for me. I'm going to just lift it up, tuck it underneath, and pull it tight. I'll figure out what to do, maybe get some hooks or whatnot. It's temporary. And I'm done until I could get better plastic, cut it correctly, and take my time. I know the plan I want to do. Now I got to think it out. So we'll see what happens in a month's time, what grows in there. Have a great day, everybody. I see you on many other modifications of the raised bed planter. Have a great day.